Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode with Backpacking with Banger. I just finished up with one of the most incredible five-month journeys of my entire life. I just motorbiked from the south end of the Philippines in Davao City all the way up to Baguio City. I just accomplished 4,666 miles on a motorbike. I honestly have, have never even heard of anybody doing the trip that I had just accomplished over the last five months. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys what it cost me on what I paid for myself to travel the Philippines by motorbike. Hopefully you guys stick around to the end of the video because when I share with you guys what I paid and what it cost for me to travel around the Philippines by motorbike, you're going to want to fly out there as soon as you can and do the same thing that I did. So let's get started. This is the most adventurous day that my motorbike has seen in the Philippines so far. Getting it on this small little pump boat. We got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten people. Ten people helping me. So I ended up flying into the southern part of the Philippines in a city called Davao City. It was right around Christmas time of 2022. I ended up meeting an American gentleman on Christmas Day, just randomly, and he was willing to sell me his motorbike that he had just purchased about a month before I got to the Philippines. And the motorbike had hardly any miles on it. He ended up selling it to me for $1,100 with a full face helmet. You could probably find a little bit cheaper of a motorbike, a used one, that could probably get the job done for you for about 800 or so. Or you can get a brand new nice Yamaha 155 for 2000 or 2500 bucks new. But I figured it was a, a good price and a good opportunity. It was Christmas, so I pulled the trigger and bought the motorbike. I started making my way up north towards Surigao City. And I would take my time. I'd spend maybe two or three hours a day motorbiking. If that, I would hang out somewhere for maybe a couple of nights. Yeah, but I was in no rush. I just wanted to hang out, enjoy where I was at, and explore, and not be in too much of a hurry. Hotel rooms I was finding as, as low as $12 a night up to $40 a night on my entire trip. I never spent more than $40 on a on a hotel room. On average, I was spending right around $20 a night on hotels, uh, private rooms. So that comes out to around 600. I'm just going to I'm just going to call it 650 bucks a month in hotel rooms. Food and drinks, I was spending right around 400 bucks a month for that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'd actually only have maybe two meals a day and drinks. I'd get a lot of mango shakes, coconut shakes, maybe a couple of beers each day. Ferries and transportation from island to island. I was on about eight different ferries to, uh, to be able to island hop and those would cost generally right around $25 or so for my motorbike and my and myself to get onto the the ferry for transportation a lot of my activities were i found them I, I would find just free free things to do most of the time i was just enjoying motorbiking and cruising around and exploring which was completely free besides uh paying for gas of course i did a few island hopping tours and that was generally about twenty dollars and I have to mention that I was staying out of a lot of the tourist areas where I was at. Uh, there just wasn't a whole lot of tourists. Generally, I'd be the only foreigner around. So it's not like they were, the, the prices were super expensive because uh, foreigners or tourists were there. I was in all these locations where, like I said, I was basically the only foreigner around. After the first month, I had to go into Surigao City to immigration to get an extension. I got a two-month extension, which cost me $240. After that extension ran out, I had to go to another immigration two months later in a city called Naga. 
where I got another two month extension for $100. I learned that in different cities, they charge different prices for uh, visa extensions. Gasoline, so this was a lot lower than what I thought because my motorbike got 100 miles to the gallon and I did 4,666 miles. Uh, if you're not familiar with how many miles that is, that's that's basically going from the west coast of America, driving to the east coast of America, and then driving back towards the west coast a little uh, a little over halfway, and that's about how far, how many miles that I drove in the Philippines. A lot of miles. At the so that cost me just in gas was two hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred and fifty dollars. I think that was such a great deal for transportation. Ridiculous. And then at the end of my trip, I sold my bike for $500. And then a few other things that I paid for when I was there. The dentist was 30 bucks. I went in and got some lab work, some blood work done at one of the hospitals for about 150 bucks. Of course, motorbike in the Philippines, you need a couple raincoats. That was six dollars a piece. A phone holder on the motorbike, six bucks. I got shoes for five bucks. I went through a few shirts. Probably spent about thirty bucks on that. Souvenirs, maybe ten bucks on that. I don't have much room on my or in my backpack, so uh, ten dollars in souvenirs was enough. I got a hat for six bucks. Sunscreen, ten bucks. Uh, all that fun stuff, little, you know, taxis or grab rides if I needed them came up, came out to maybe about 50 bucks. Grand total, what I spent in the Philippines after I sold my motorbike for five months was $7,500. It was the most incredible trip that I've had in my entire life. I was on white sand beaches, island hopping, met the nicest people in the world. For an experience like that, for $7,500, that was absolutely mind-blowing. I would, I would go back in a heartbeat and do it all over again. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully it helps influence you guys to get out there, purchase a motorbike, and go explore the Philippines on your own. If you guys enjoyed this video hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching and i'll see you guys all in the next backpacking with banger episode